Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gaily Reports. I would like to present you one an interesting dashboard for e-commerce businesses and for SaaS businesses when you have returning customers. And this report you can find in a special report section of my online store and it is Customer Churn Analysis Template. Uh, you can find link to the dashboard here. And let's see what we have here. This is one page dashboard that shows churn rate. So how many customers you lose by month. And I think it's super important metrics for SaaS businesses, for subscriptions, uh, when you have returning customers with a low average order value, but for you it's important how long these customers stay with you. So this report is absolutely um, needed for this kind of businesses. And here we have some an interesting features that I added to this dashboard. First of all, we start with uh, last month's sales overview. Now we can see number of new clients that we attract, attracted last month. Uh, this is a data range picker where you can change uh, last month to other month or other period of time. Um, and here we have month or month comparison. So uh, in September 23, we got 55 new clients and compare with the previous month, it's 90% more, but compare with previous year, to, I mean September 22, it's less for 8%. All this data uh, is random, so it could be really weird um, numbers. Uh, yeah, I use some randomizer to pull this to uh, random <laughs> to add a random data to my dashboard. So numbers could be really weird. Hope in your business you'll have different <laughs> number of new clients, return clients, <laughs> and so on. Uh, then we have return clients. Uh, it means uh, we have new 55 and seven return. And also we have uh, 48 clients who did only one time purchase. But for September, for example, for one month, I think it's really fine, uh, fine because uh, it's normal that your client, okay, if you, I mean, if it's something subscription, it's normal that almost all of new clients, they did only one purchase, so it's absolutely fine. Again, we have compare, we can compare data with previous period and previous year. Also, we have revenue, number of orders, and average order value. Um, we can track our main metrics. Here I have some notes uh, that you can update if you need. What else do we have here? Then we have churn customers by month. And here we have table uh, that for me, this table is more interesting maybe. This is main KPIs. And here we can see data in dynamic. We can see that, uh, for example, in September last year, we have uh, 283 new clients, uh, LTV per client it's 200, and average order value 80. It means that one client make about two and a half orders, and we can see how this number changed during the period. Uh, so we can say, okay, I'm really interested that average orders per client increase, so should I work on that? Oh, I can see that average order value stay same during the whole period of time. Maybe I should work and offer some upsell to my clients. So I can work on to these metrics. And here we have uh, data month by month, how many clients we lost during each month and we can say that for example for september 22 we achieved 283 new clients and only 59 of them did one purchase 
So I think it's a good job, but it means that others returned for our store, and I think this is a good result. And same for other months, we can see and um, see uh, check dynamic and see on which metrics should we work more and where to put uh, our attention. Again, here I have some comments where you can uh, read uh, how to read this table. And below we have same table with percentage, uh, almost the same table. Uh, I changed this matrix as well. So new clients, LTV per clients. Here we have new clients because it's important. And uh, here we have return clients. So here LTV, here this. So uh, we can see uh, in September 22 we uh, had this amount of clients and this amount of them return to us and this is a big percentage and this is good for example for other months it could be like i don't know only seven from 55 but it was last month so probably as a client will return later in late months uh here we have revenue per month this means uh if you if here it's LTV, a lifetime value per client. So how much money one client from this cohort brought you during the all period of time. Uh, and revenue means how much money we got this month, how we earn this month uh, from you and return customers. So this is what we have in our pocket after this month. Um, number of orders from this cohort uh, we can actually number of total monthly orders from you and return clients so this amount of money so you see you can read comments what this metrics mean uh, revenue so this revenue was made by 300 orders from new and return customers and here we have percentage and one-time clients. Uh, the same numbers as here. Here we have 65, 76, and here we have 23. 23% 23 it means 65 divided by 283. And we will have 23% of clients we lost. And uh, after one year, we lost 72% of this cohort. For other cohorts, for example, we lost already on the seventh month, we lost already 95% of these clients. So uh, it's something that's really interesting information. And I think it's super important for, yeah, for subscription businesses, for e-commerce, uh, when people can come back to you when you buy cosmetics, some health products, I don't know, some clothes, maybe plans <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, here in the edit mode you can see two page when you buy the template you will receive a page with instructions how to use the dashboard also I will show you what is in the backend here if you I go to manage the dashboard I will see one data source and this is Google Sheets uh, let me open this Google Sheets and show you how does it work. Uh, in the back end, we have Google Sheets. Uh, you can find instructions on the help tab here. Uh, basically, what do you need to update this dashboard and uh, add your data? You have input tab and you have here yellow cells. You just need to add your date, order ID, user ID and revenue. This data you can have from Google Analytics if you set up user ID, uh, like all this data in Google Analytics. Usually, I recommend you to pull this data from CRM system, what do you use like Shopify, HubSpot, wherever. Could be other system. Usually, you have this data in your CRM system. Uh, this is, um, yeah, how do I? create random data <laughs> you don't need you can easily remove this 
interesting is if you if you want. So you just uh, change this data to your real data. You can do it manually, or you can use third-party connector services. Uh, on this document, I recommend services uh, with whom I work, and I know them, and I can give you some tips about how to use them if you need. Uh, usually I work with Supermetrics, uh, the leader of the market for many years, I think. Power My Analytics and Windsor IE. This is connector services that I like. With them, you can pull data automatically from your CRM system to Google Sheets. And uh, it will be updated automatically, daily, weekly, monthly basis uh, as you need and um, depend on how often you need a fresh data in your dashboard. Um, but you can do it manually, it depends on how often do you need this dashboard. Mm, here we have three tabs more. Uh, first, cohort work count. Here I transform your input data to one view. Here on the formulas, you don't need to do anything here. Uh, maybe you can just check my formulas and you can find some interesting <laughs> tips for yourself. Uh, then we have pivot count. Again, this tab with formulas. I added some notes here that you understand better what do I mean in columns. And uh, this tab 2.3 LS count. LS means Looker Studio. And this tab we connect to Looker Studio. And uh, this is our final tab. You don't need to do anything here. When you receive this document you just update this data that is it and uh, when you receive template you will receive a link with only one button available copy create your own dashboard so you create your own dashboard um, you will see a window like this and just copy report that is it change data in google sheets and your churn rate report is ready to use what can you do more? Of course, you can change my logo to yours. Definitely. <laughs> I really recommend you to do it and change this information to, your, to yours as well. Then you can go to theme and layout. Here you can find, uh, you can customize it. You can extract theme from image. So you can do a screenshot from your website and uh, extract theme from your a website screenshot. Oh, you can go to customize and update here um, colors, fonts, uh, whatever you want. For example, I will show you if I change colors, for example, this green, or I will change this green to yellow. Didn't change. Ah, it's weird. Okay, because I used uh, another color. I used uh, car, like, yeah. component background. Yeah, you see. Um, let me remove this, please. I want to keep my template fine. Basically, that is it. Uh, it's easy to do, but if you want my help with. Um, customizing your dashboard to update up, update it to your company style i can turn background i can change like other colors maybe remove like corner around it make it really square uh, oh just design stuff i can do it i can uh, offer you this service or if you like this template but you think that it is not enough and you want to add or remove any charts, um, me and my team can help you with that as well and create custom option of this dashboard. Let me know if you need it. And yeah, for sure, you can buy template and use it and customize by yourself. So it will depend on your needs and what do you want and uh, how do you know how to work with Looker Studio. I think that is it about this template. Hope you really enjoy this video and talk to you soon.